Hello everyone, this is Dimitar from the Red Mineup support team. In this video demonstration, I'm going to show you the checklist template sections feature of the checklist plugin. Alright, so let's go to our demo server and just see how the feature works. So now I'm going to create firstly one testing issue. So testing the normal checklist template feature. Alright, so we go to checklist template. Oops. And select one. Okay. So this is the normal checklist list viewing. However, if you would like to add some sections between the checklist items, so it will be more well formatted, then you have to do the following thing. Uh, just to have a note that the checklist templates are global and project level. Uh, the difference between these two are point of discussion of another article. So if you'd like to know the difference between global and project level checklist templates, then you have to check the checklist template article of the checklist plugin documentation. So, in our current video demonstration, we are going to continue with the feature that we are discussing. So, this is the checklist sections. Alright, so in our case, we are going to change the global checklist templates. Okay. So, we go to the checklist and then configure and then checklist templates. So, um, yeah, we edit the checklist template. And here it is, we see the full checklist uh, items here. So we choose where to set our section and write dash dash and then the name of the section itself. So in our example we are going to just uh, set testing section one. Okay. So we set one more And also one more. And save our changes. Okay, so let's go back to the issues and see what will be the result. So we create one more issue. And it will be testing the checklists with sections. Okay, so we go again into the checklist and add it, sorry, uh, yeah, sorry, uh, sorry again, I just clicked before it was needed, okay, so here is our template, and we see the checklists are now here, checklist sections. Okay, so this is it. We see that it is, it is bold, it is bolted, the topic of the section, and we see the gray line here, this is the section itself. So it is dividing the checklist uh, items into a couple of sections. So it will be easier for understanding and formatting of the checklists itself. Okay, so yeah, this is the feature of the checklist sections. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if you like it, you could check other videos and articles of the checklists plugin documentation. So, thank you very much for watching this, and bye bye for now.